It was a meeting like any other, until I heard the dripstone. This wasn't a meeting, it was a trap laid by Vitalicy to murder me with a dripstone cannon. Bad news for Vitalicy, he missed every single shot. Seven days later, he invites me to another meeting. It's under a pile of dripstone. How do you expect me to trust that? I know he's trying to kill me, so I say the only thing I can think of to save my life. So before you start, do you mind if I do some like, quick little checks, you know, because last time you invited me somewhere, I did end up dead, so. Awfully long pauses indicate guilt. You know what I found? <laughs> nothing, nothing, I, I found nothing. There was not a single trap. To my disbelief, he played a note block song for me, then invited me to a concert. In, in fact, I liked the music so much that I closed Minecraft just to watch him stream. Turns out he's making the stage for his concert. Ask Rick for help. Guys, I'm gonna kill Rick. Oh no! <laughs> I should not be watching this stream. There's a policy against stream sniping. How is he gonna kill me? Well, you know that concert. It's actually a trap. But I kept watching the stream to get more info, and I just want you to take a moment to appreciate the irony in this clip. Everything they do on the server is for their suspicious reasons, you know? And everything like, you do isn't? Um, hmm. At this exact moment, I decided to do everything in my power to ruin his concert. And it starts by killing him with kindness. You see, the very first recording session I ever did with Vitalicy, I found him alone with no item. So I gave him a piece of iron to make a shield. This became known as the friendship iron. So over the next two days, I built a shrine to this piece of iron. And we're gonna see if Vitalicy feels, feels any remorse for trying to trap me. Is he gonna feel bad at all? Take your guesses. You remember the first day of the first server? Mm-hmm. I thought, oh that, I can't clutch with lava. <laughs> I thought I would commemorate that. Oh, that's using 3.0. Anything else? That's so nice. Anything at all? Thank you, Rick. Maybe a trap? This means a lot to me. No, nothing. Vitalicy was going to kill me. I just didn't know how or when. Everyone, I'm hosting the greatest concert in the history of Minecraft. Wednesday, 8 o'clock. I waited till Vitalicy logged off that night, snagged an invis potion, and started investigating. Backstage room, no trespassing. So we have a redstone clock. I think this is just for the lights, though. Interesting. Why is there a piece of drips down here? I don't know. What about the floor of this place? What is this? The floor checked out, the redstone checked out, no trap in sight. But I kept digging anyways. Oh, this could not have gone any worse. Oh, no. Honestly, how do I get out of this predicament? It appears that they did not find the place. The only other place there could be a trap is the sky, right? <gasps> it seemed like the perfect trap. With the new height increase that came with 1.18, you can't see blocks at sky limit. All he would need is a simple platform, maybe some dripstone, maybe some TNT minecarts, and he could literally rain havoc on everyone at the concert. But there was nothing, nothing atop the suspicious platform in the sky. No TNT, no stalactite. I haven't the slightest clue how this guy is gonna kill everybody at the concert. But I still have a plan to ruin his trap. We're gonna scare everybody away from Vitalicy's trap by building more obvious fake traps. And well, he certainly noticed. The plan to kill everyone in the concert was originally to blow up the ground. But as we went down to check below the concert area, we discovered this. What in the world? Oh my god. Wait a minute. It, it's, it has rails on it. It's gonna be a TNT minecart. Oh, oh let me god. see. There's dripstone and TNT minecarts in here. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Wow. He couldn't have taken the bait more perfectly. Now that the floor and the sky were compromised, we resorted to using fireworks coming out of dispensers to get them low, and then using crossbow rockets to deliver the final blow. Truth be told, I didn't attend the concert because I had to pick up a car IRL, but I relayed all the info to my teammate Parrot, who told everyone at the concert, and it took totally work. Nobody is standing anywhere near the stage. Nobody trusts Vitalicy, but it gets even better. The firework rockets didn't kill a single person. Now I call that a success, but I gotta lay low. Vitalicy can't know that I ruined his event. So I joined a voice call with some other people, and guess who joins? It's Vitalicy. I have two options. Destroy my computer, run into the mountains, and never speak to him again, 
or get some intel. You see, if Vitalis, he mentions the trap even once, he's probably not gonna kill again. But if he doesn't, I'm still his main target. So a group of us travel to the nether in hopes of making a treaty, but all I'm trying to do is get this intel. Many things went wrong. I go through the portal. There's carpet, there's string, there's tons of levers. This place is definitely gonna explode. But before I can escape to the portal, there's <laughs> string, I get teleported to the end. Now while I'm falling to my death, let's talk about what happened. The meeting wasn't a meeting. It wasn't about a treaty. Everything was an elaborate trap to kill me. And the reason we walked so far away is because the trap relies on an end portal. You see, there's this interesting glitch. If you stand directly under an end portal and get pushed by a piston, you will get teleported to the end at the exact same coordinates, AKA, the void. But there's one oversight to this trap. If another player goes through the portal at the exact time you do, it's ruined and you get teleported to the obsidian platform. The meeting was about a treaty. Guess who went through the portal with me? My teammate Parrot. String? There's oh, carpet? Man. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What? what, 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 what? Oh my gosh, they tried to do the piston trick on us only to realize they don't know how it works. <laughs> Suck it! Get out of here, Brancy! You lose! Success, right? We escaped the trap. Well, not exactly. We logged on another server to talk about the trap. You know, we're friends and all. But there was one final and pretty terrible plot twist. How do you feel, Parrot? I just feel completely defeated. Really? Yeah. Just because they, they got you into position? No, because I was actually in on this the entire time. No, you weren't. <laughs> I don't believe it. I was. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> While I thought I was two steps ahead getting information out of Vitality, all three of them were trying to kill me. Like this guy, Parrot, who I'm currently in a subscriber race to a million subscribers, which, by the way, we're losing pretty terribly. He's betraying me left and right. What do you think he has to say for himself? There are more traps ready for you that, that don't oh, even by the have way, to be you want to get on real quick? Uh, no, not really, Vitalisy. My whole world has been shaken. But I thought about it for a moment. Vitalisy wants me on the server so he can kill me. I know that, Vitalisy knows that. If I willingly go to his trap and somehow escape, I will have truly one-upped Vitalisy. So I mustered all the courage I could get and logged on to Lifesteal. What, what do you want to show me? Uh, meet me as But in the middle of meeting up with Vitalisy, I get a message from Parrot. Um, just watch out. Parrot, you just tried to kill me, Parrot. Of course I know it and watch out. But, but this is confusing. Why is Parrot giving me advice? He then tells me to come through the back entrance, a water entrance entrance into spawn, which is a safe zone. Do I go through the front entrance and trust Vitalisy, or the back entrance and trust Parrot? I'm gonna trust what? you, Vitalisy, and come to okay. you. <laughs> Found the spawn. <laughs> um, I actually did neither, and started bridging over spawn with dirt. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't- I can't trust anything anymore, man. <laughs> I'm just practicing my, um, speed bridging, actually. <laughs> Let's get this over with quick, please. Two destinations. One is the crafting shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Why, why would I come in there? Um, to craft whatever you need, you know, for free. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm out of here, Vitalisy. <laughs> Bye! Okay, no, 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 give me a second chance, give me a second chance. That would be a really stupid video, right? <laughs> it would be, I assume there's a second trap. No, no, it's not, it's not. I mean, if there is a second trap, why not press my luck and disarm that one too? It's going pretty well so far. That is until I fell straight down a hole onto a pile of stalactites. Okay, I'm just kidding. Somebody else fell into that trap. But that's three traps down, and Vitalisy's sounding pretty defeated. No, 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 just, just, you know, just, come on, come on. But he is still trying to convince me to walk in that building. So I go on the offensive, drink an invisibility potion, and go up the building he wants me. Vitalisy, just, just talk. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, um... I... Or is there nothing to talk about because it's a trap? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not trying to formulate my words, I didn't really... Oh, uh, yeah, of course, of course, formulate, please, please, be my guest. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it'd be great if you could come to spawn. Vitalisy really wants me at spawn, but I really don't want to go. So I ask my teammate Parrot to go for me. Invisible, of course, I don't want Vitalisy knowing it's not me. Now, if you remember from earlier, 
Parrot was also one of the people who tried to trap me. In fact, it's his second time trying to kill me as his teammate. But if you also remember, he told me about the netherrack trap and saved me from falling into the void. In fact, he saved everybody at the concert. Could this be an elaborate ruse by Parrot to become a double agent, get their trust, and sabotage from the inside? So I put it to the test. When push comes to shove, can you really trust your team? You yeah. just want to talk. You just want to talk. No, I'm on to talk. Like, you know, just make make sure you have- Would it, would it please you if I just came to spawn? I mean, sure. Okay, sure. well, truth be told, I've been in this this whole time. Um, I could, I, I could see you. I'll, I'll come oh. out. <laughs> I don't even know, is this Parrot? Is this Parrot? <laughs> this is definitely it's Parrot. parrot. <laughs> I feel like this is Parrot. <laughs> just stop, leave me alone, okay? <laughs> just chill, move on, move on, my tells you, move on. What, what am I holding right now? You're holding a golden carrot, okay? Move on, please. Oh, I was gonna say I apologize, Here, and you know, what? I, I'd like to be on good terms. I'd like you to stand, I don't know, go somewhere and don't peek, okay? Box, box on top. Box okay, on top. okay, it's on top, it's on top. Okay. I'm boxed. You know what's done okay. with Talcy? Like, cause it'd be awfully easy to like set up an anvil like above me you know what i mean yeah that's true that's true just like give it's, me a second. it's a bit you, sus you would you would hear stuff you'd hear stuff <laughs> all right you, you can come out look above you what there's nothing right what if i could um make things appear out of thin air i would be impressed all right keep standing there okay <gasps> yo parrot that worked beautifully oh my gosh i saw what he did